And we're live on the twitch.tv slash the Asuma playing the stone block. Been looking forward to this all day. Fortunate Naruto and um, Mine Rana, thank you for those bananas in chat letting me know that we're live. And uh, peeps, look at my pick. It's going to do that all stream. Bobbing up and down as it slowly repairs itself. Yeah, that's part of that uh, that thing that we got last time. This thing. It's epic. But it's going to do this. <laughs> Basically doing the mending thing, right? Which is weird because I can't remember. It was mending in 1.12.2. Yeah. Yeah, it was. Okay. That makes sense then. Astro Zid. Uh, Nico Ninja, Salik Bashir, Everest Stu, Andu Bundu, Rezo IX, X the Lick, Mini Midget, Random Guest, Rune the Ghost, Blue Raven, welcome everyone to the live stream. We are going to be firing this farm up today, and we just got a bunch of jobs to do beforehand. Uh, first of all, we're going to need some dyes and go around and dye all of these things and do the diamonds on them as well. So, we'll get to that thing going. And for our dyes, we type in petal, I believe, yeah. So, um, I don't think we did triple red for anything, right? Surely we didn't. I'm going to do triple red. Let's find out. Like red for the, the mob farm, right? Yeah, we didn't use that for anything. You know, I, every time I've played with this mod, I've always had this thought of like... Oh, making a system to keep track of all the things. But I never get like far enough in to have to do that, like using it a whole bunch. But uh, imagine like, you know, you, you play in the world for a long time, you've got tons of stuff. You might have to build a system remind you what each of these things are. Now, as you can see, it's going to be a pain in the bum, so I'm just going to do that. Okay, you can't hold shift when you do it. Cool, I think what I might do is just whiz round and do all the diamonds first, then do the other ones. Seems a way to do it. And we've got a noise in the ear. It's Asp. Here for 31 months. Thank you, my dude. Thank you for the support. I hope you're uh, enjoying the stream. Hey, May School. Welcome to the stream. X really likes this mod pack, it seems. Yeah, I'm loving it. I'm loving it. There's just so much to do. Loads of cool projects. We're going to have lots of fun with this. Yeah, I'm totally into it. Go on. Go on. Okay, I'm at the perfect height to not rip out that floor, it seems. So I was thinking for the liquid XP, we'll probably void it to begin with. And then we'll probably store some and then void it, but... Until I know what I want to do with all that XP, I'm just gonna... You know, get rid of it, really. Missed one back there, says the Major Beast. Let's have a look. Not on this side, nor diamonds. Let's check this one. Okay, I wasn't doing red dyes over here, but we'll we'll do these and then... Number four, someone says. Ugh. Oh, look, we're going to need more than that. Oh, of course we would for the dyes. Like, the diamonds, maybe not, but the dyes, I mean... They use six for each pair of these. So apparently number four. No, they're all done. They're all done. You missed the tank. Okay, I missed the diamond, didn't I? Maybe that's the fourth. Maybe that was the fourth tank. There we go. Oops. Right, that's all of them diamond up. And then we've got to do the red die. The major beast says, there we go, that was it. Awesome. 
X, do you have any tips on starting out with mods? Um, oh God, it's so hard to say because modded Minecraft is so often just a mess. You want to find a mod pack that's got uh, like a quest book to follow, and you want to find a mod like maybe watch a let's play of someone playing through and play along. Because with modded, you have to just like start adding things to your arsenal, and it's not like each mod pack isn't terribly well, in my experience, designed for someone coming in playing blind. So um, those two things, quest books and watching other people play, are usually good tools to help you figure it all out. Look at this, we're going to have this issue again. Ah, uh, now I'm in the mob farm. Yeah, it's a good thing I didn't upgrade those yet, because uh, that might have killed me. <laughs> Wasn't sure if I was going to tap spacebar in time then. Before descending into the void. Oh, there we go. Expand your experience. Don't always use the same mods as Big Papa House. That is true, and here we are using the same old mods to build this farm. I guess the next mob farm we build... We'll have to use some different stuff. Yeah, that's a good point. It is easy to get a little comfortable with what you're you're doing. But one of my goals with this mod pack is, as we get go along, is to uh, use more different mods. I guess. Just kind of reminded me I haven't done that here. Then again, it is you know a project that floats over the void, and I could fall to my death at any second should I uh, stop flying for some unfortunate reason. There you go, that's the whole thing. Cool, now I do want to open up these corners and then get all those uh, other blocks in, which didn't end up in my inventory, funny enough. Are they machine... No, not machine blocks. They are factory blocks. We'll take all of that stuff. We need our uh, chisel now. Check those things up there. What do you think the golden age of mods was? For me, it was 1.7.10. Loads of amazing packs, says Seth. Well, I never really played them enough to have a golden age. I always thought it was 1.12, but um, I think both 1.12 and 1.7 were just ones that stayed. They stayed on for a very long time for whatever reasons, right? And that would make for a good golden age, really. Not, not so much the quality of the mods per se, but the fact that they were able to stick around for a little bit longer. i tell you what, uh, i tell you what I wouldn't mind playing at some point. Dear Lord. I wouldn't mind playing some of those uh, mod packs where they, they did some with that were not mod packs, they were like vanilla maps, but it's like you have to survive in a desert. And uh, it's difficult to make basic things like water. I wouldn't mind trying one of those at some point. Uh, Yaga10 is here for three months saying make two different ender chest colour combinations and two ender chests on the other side as well. There'll be items. There will be item loss. Why would there be item loss? Uh, thank you for the three months of support, my dude. Appreciate it. It wouldn't be difficult for me to change the colour of the ender chests. Well, it might be once I build more of this platform up. But, uh, what's the reason for doing such a thing? Yeah, so I think up and down height is probably good, but it's the left and right height. And then depth that probably needs to come down a bit. Because we want to build through here. Didn't I set the depth to two? It feels like it's... I oh, know. No, it's doing one at a time, isn't it? Very odd. Yeah, it's only doing one at a time. Depth one. Oh, I thought zero. I guess I thought zero was one, right? Ah, uh, we got some gifted subs here. Black Steel fifty three. Thanks for gifting the subs, my dude. Gifting them to Cold Within. 
and Dr. Cuddles. So kind of you to do that. And uh, be sure to say thanks in chat. You have FPS capped at 90, says Caspar. Yeah, I, I do that for the performance of the game. If you uh, if you cap it, if you cap it above, sorry, how, how do I explain this? If I if I put it at unlimited, it's going to put resources to work, trying to give you as many frames as it can, as opposed to making sure the game is running nice and stable. So by capping it around 90 for a 60 FPS stream, pretty much guaranteeing we're going to have 60 FPS, right? But also um, that we're not dedicating the game's resources to making as many frames as possible. So the game should perform a little better as a result of that. Cool, right, now we go to the next texture, this one. This is the one that will be expanded out and that we stand on and like watch what's going on. You know what? This glass is super cool. It would have been cool to put it directly on top of the void out the back here and have it be the glowing one so like nothing would spawn on it. Although, because it's glass, in theory, nothing should spawn on it. X, the reason for using different colours in the ender chest is that all of your items will be going into a single 27 chest slot. Yeah. But there's vacuum hoppers between them to act as buffers. So, uh, you know, we'll uh, see how it goes. Right, now we've got to do this stuff. Here. What, do they all gather in one side? Oh, do you know what it is? There used to be this bug that uh, they would fly in a particular direction. Like, they'd have a bias southeast so it might be that this is an older version of the game and that that bug is still present and bats will tend to fly southeast rather than over time just in any direction fascinating so dark clear glass how much quite clear do i have that is just ridiculous isn't it just re oh, no no we don't want those don't know what they do but we don't want them Okay, uh, there we go, we've got a lot of that stuff, we're going to want our wands, these bats are just pesky, pesky bats. Yeah, so if we, if we put all the first block in, then we can just build it upwards with the wand. Bear says, afternoon peeps. Welcome to the stream, Bear. Lava wall to get rid of them, says DRC. Uh, putting some lava in the area would help, wouldn't it? It would help. Maybe before I build this, I put the upgrades in, right? So, the last bit for me to do is to take away that torch and then put our dark glass up top. And that's our proper dark glass, which I'm holding right now. Dark clear glass. And then we need a way down here. There's just so many steps. I think what I might do next is just go... Yeah, that's not it. Well, of course it wouldn't be south. Yeah. Okay, guessed correctly. That is correct. Oh, items are going to start hanging out in here now as well. Do these things need upgrades? They have an area upgrade. I don't think they have a speed upgrade, though. Should be like that over here, yep. I see a... Uh, what did I just see go in there? Yeah, one of them. Hey X, another project you could possibly look at in the future is the Void Miner. It takes a bit of work, but it's a good way to get resources, says Bell Steven. I've done that one before, yeah. We'll um, we'll look at that again. I, I kind of want to do, you know, as long as I'm interested, I kind of want to do a bit of everything. There we go. So is it that way round? Yep. Yeah. 
The reason we were doing this though was just one because it's fun, two because we need more Never Stars. But I got a feeling we're going to end up building a Never Star farm not long after this. Ah, that's wrong. Wait, didn't I just? Didn't I just do that on this side? I thought I just set it up the opposite. Okay, no, it was two clicks on south. Okay, fair enough. Wonder if the transfer speed is good enough as well, right? Another thought. Just did it wrong. I mean, that's a pretty slow transfer speed. That might be a bigger problem. Oh dear. Emily D do, thank you ever so much for 61 months. Very much appreciated. Evil X right there. And we got Anna M. Hayden here for three months as well. Thank you for your tremendous support here on Twitch, peeps. Curls of Doom says X, do you have a producti productivity evening routine to prep for the next day? Discord says no. Oh, right. Well, I have a mental... I tend to have, like, a mental routine of planning out the next day as one comes to an end. I tend to just chuck a lot of stuff that needs doing on my phone. Like earlier, I just, you know, finally got to the computer, opened up the phone, started doing all these little jobs. Most of them are done now. Right, so Midnight says we can use pipes and whatnot to speed it up. There's actually, there's actually space at the front to add pipes quite easily from one to the next so that is something we can obviously do if need be so I think next thing is probably the upgrades for this before we do well I tell you what we can actually we can actually build this up and fly in and out of there quite easy since I got loads of it in my inventory and it all needs to be placed well that was weird let's uh, might as well place it here's a diamond wand I don't know if it's doing all of the other side. Looks like uh, it didn't reach that far. But what am I doing? What? Into the void with you. Phew, I've got one of these. Why can't I remember? Okay, hey, is that all of it? Cool. So we don't actually need too much more. But I need to go get the thing making some more. X is the Never Star Wand in this pack. I think it's the same as Diamond but Unbreakable, says Skyfire. I don't know. The Never Star Wand. Is it in this pack, peeps? Is it in this pack? You know, that, that wand made with that Never Star. Is it in this pack right here? This one, Stone Block. I don't think it is. I don't think it is, my dude. Right, let's... Um, yeah, I think what we'll do... We still want the balcony, so... We're going to have a section here where you walk through. But I think what we'll do in the middle of it... Is have a viaduct to take us down. So I want some of our glowstone, uh, the one that matches in that area. By the way, I was just drinking a tasty tea, you know, if you heard some slurpage. Uh, Goon says, is this modded world on YouTube or is it exclusive to Twitch? It's on my uh, second channel as well as over here. If I put seven in. I think I might just make it five because I'd like a little bit more space for what I'm probably going to call like the Sky Lounge or something. I don't know. It just kind of reminds me of uh, some like weird place where you get to look up high and high and low and see a lot going on. So for that reason, if we take the middle of this, we'll put a viaduct in the floor. Uh, there we go. Planked. Planked and smooth. Is this thing it's still repairing itself, peeps. It's still repairing itself. Now it's got even more to do. Right, I don't know if you can make the viaducts look a little more uh, interesting, let's say. I'm pretty sure if I go straight down, we're eventually going to hit the void. Question is, 
At what height am I comfortable? I reckon we need to pay attention around Y20. Okay. Right, time to pay attention. Yes. Oh, yes, I know what I'm doing. Don't call me a derp. Right, um... Fire duct. Might need... Ooh, long range? Regular? Oh, might need a, might need a long range one. Fast transport between two specific locations. Maybe this one only goes from one to the other. I, I'm going to build it with a regular viaduct and then see what happens. Um, so... What I kind of want is some of it like to poke into this area a little bit to begin with. Oh, it's so slow to break. Why is this? I can't vein mine it either. Right, and I should have uh, hammered it or whatever it was first. Maybe this is easier just like that. There we go. Zora Spinamana is here for six months. Thank you, Zora. Hey, X. Thanks for sharing your creativity and insights. It's a privilege to follow along. Thank you, my dude. That's a lovely message. I appreciate it. It'd be a pain if there was bedrock at the bottom of the world. Maybe there'd probably be some, you know, modded way to get rid of it. Right. You can shift right click with a crescent hammer to break them instantly, says Midnight. Interesting. That's one of those other problems with modded is that you end up with loads of tools and they all work differently. I mean like if you if you put one mod into a Minecraft world and play that, it's you know it's its own thing. When you start to make mod packs, you just end up with tons of like overlapping things, right? I don't know if I like how that looks. It might be better off having it in the wall. But I can I can walk over it. Right. So this will potentially be a new entrance at some point. And then what we do is we click on it, click again. And it's a little bit slow. But we get there. Cool. Yeah, using those to get around this base, I think, would just be so cool. Maybe that's what we could do when we build new areas. We could just have them link through viaducts. What's going on over here? I think... Hmm. Oh, I do not want my inventory getting filled right now, and it's going to happen. No, they've still got four. Hmm. All seems good, doesn't it? I oh, see. Now I get the flowers stuck, and I've got to figure out which sides. Oh God, I don't want these flowers. I'm going to throw them in the void, <laughs> or just chuck them in here, along with the cobble and the wood and the glowstone. There we go. There you go. Don't think about it. That's the way I play. Just chuck it in there and don't think about it. So let's check out our glass. So we've got lots of that probably don't need more than that now. And then if we go to black, so we've got lots of black pedals. Let's make lots of die. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Not sure if it kept up then. That should be two to one each time. And then last of all that. Right, that'll do, I think. Oh, there was there was one more. Oh, whatever. Me making mistakes. What do you think this is? Do you have too much of something? Just chuck it into the void, says Hytron. Life advice. That's what this is. Life advice. By the way, we got Frover... Wow, that was amazing. We've got over 500 peeps here tuning in. Be sure to hit the follow button if you're enjoying the stream. We've been doing daily streams, I think, for over a month now. And I'm going to keep it going all the way up to Christmas if I can. 
I'm not going to break a leg trying to do that, but uh, it's at least a plan for now. Right. Let's think about what we have left to do. We have to make upgrades. We could probably make them wirelessly. So inventory space is going to be... Uh, nope, that's wrong. Inventory space will be a concern. Therefore, we clear it out. Oh yeah, we're going to make some dark steel armor stuff later today, I hope. God, there's so many things we could do. It's crazy. Ketchup says, uh, hi Asuma, how you been? I've been alright, thanks for asking. X, if you break a leg while streaming, you were doing it wrong. Yeah, I, I you know, I, I meant, I meant, I'm not going to go out of my way. If, if something important comes up, I'm not going to bend over backwards for a stream. Right, let's, uh, hmm. And we've got a sub bomb coming in. So while I can't think, now it's even harder to think. <laughs> Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. The generosity of this community is wonderful. And uh, I can't thank you enough. i got some names to read out loud. Y'all got to say thanks to Baytan Daniil for gifting the sub. Alex, A1, Purposeful Purpoises, Archer Fen, Haley Bailey, Irina Snow, Bird Lover Jackson, Julio Burrs, Captain Blinky, Awkward Mutt, Igani, Wakamada, Respect My Authorita. <laughs> I love that name. Uh, the CKKW, Boom Pow, Xandian 9, You'd Be Dex, Coping With Cheese, Bandit 19196, Amoki Xaros, Omodora Sticks, Gene Enius, Hazy Grufoon, Boyd BV, I am Caddy, Lucifer Patreon of Art, and Purple Panda Girl. Be sure to say thanks in chat and thank you so much for tuning in and thank you Baytan and Neil for supporting the community. We also got Becca with a gifted sub too. Ali Razia, <laughs> Ali Razia Ahani plays. Thank you so much again Becca. Can't thank you all enough. It's been wonderful here on Twitch. X, if you stop streaming from your jacuzzi you won't break a leg. Streaming from my jacuzzi? What goofy old joke is this? I vaguely remember it. Okay. Let's uh, let's check it out. We've got to make swords. Those ones. So it's all of the last six. And I need to make ten times... Oi. I think I need... Basically I need about two stacks of each. Now that one will be the worst. Right. Right, time to use the brain smarts for a second. Yes, brain smarts. I can feel them doing something in my head. Okay, they're going this block, that block. Put them together, what do you get? I'm like, I don't know, tell me the answer. Yaga10 is here gifting subs as well. Thank you so much, Yaga. Uh, Arch, Dryad, and Soul Vaxit. Be sure to say thanks in chat for those gifted subs. Hytrin says, oh, that's what those ducks are for. It's really cool when we use them, isn't it? We, we're definitely going to have to embrace those more. I think that's the way to expand the base. Uh, right, so. We go in here and type in crafter. Okay, we take one of these. Yeah, I know, I know what my brain was getting at, right? So if we look at the components of this, it's iron, gold, and redstone. But the iron also needs to be mixed with the sticks. So if I then come over... Right, okay, that, that shocked me. And then I was like, oh no, I know what this is. Uh, forget everything, please. Forget you even exist. How do I make you forget that? Maybe it's like that, then this. I can even just leave it on for now as well. It's not terribly important. Um, in you go, all of these things. Right. So what I'll do up here is tell it to make swords, right? We give it that recipe, apply. We might as well give it the next one as well, actually. If I then... Hmm. Yeah, no, I probably... Hmm. This might not be quite as simple as I thought it would. So you've got these other ingredients as well. Can I, can I just transfer the recipe across like that? You can. Okay, cool. But we need to do it on that slot. That worked a second ago. 
Right, then the sword, I think we want to change it, so... Yep. Okay, now what I need to do is just remember that, so we have three slots reserved for swords. And sticks and iron can go in there. Okay, I'm going to get my calculator, because we need... We've got six on each side. So that's 240... Right, then each one of these that gets made has four swords, so that means we just multiply it by four, but no, it's two ingots, so multiply it by eight. So we need 1920 ingots, divide that by 64, and it's 30. So we've already put in one stack of ingots, now we've got to put in another 29. This is just bonkers. And along with that, I think what I'm going to do is have a slot for that and that. Okay, and do you know what? I don't want it to remember the outputs now that I think about it. Dang it, I've ruined that. There we go. Right, so there's something for everything. I need to... Yeah, okay, that's fine. How many does it say? 20... I need 29 stacks. So if I go grab the iron blocks, 9, 18, 27, 1, 2. So we might have just mapped this thing is what I'm getting at, right? So let's go grab some sticks. And let's go grab some gold and redstone. The limiting factor here is going to be the uh, swords because everything else can then just go back into the system. So, you know, when you play... When you play Minecraft, are you thinking, Oh, I can't wait to do some maths when I play my favourite game? Probably not. That's supposed to... That's supposed to go... That's it. That's the one. Oh, God! What did I just do? So, is this helpful is another question. Have I actually aided this process in any way? I think I have. Look, it does stuff. Okay, now let's do these. I think it's working. It's it's definitely helping. Wow. <laughs> it's, it's sort of a strange sight to behold, isn't it? All this bizarreness going on. Don't know how they got in there. Or those. They should always go up there. Oh, look. It's has it forgotten our layout at some point? Yeah, let's take those. I think it forgot our layout. Sticks seems to be the one. Oh, let's go grab more sticks. Yeah, so if I just keep shoving stuff up there, eventually it will figure out whatever it is that it needs. I think it's iron again. And it does all the crafting for us. Sticks. Uh-huh. And look at how many of these we have. We have exactly what we want. <laughs> Weird. Weird. Okay, so that was one. Now we've got to do it on all the others. Luckily for us... That's going to be far easier, isn't it? So this time, if we need... Let's let's put... How many was that? Okay, this is super helpful. So, uh... Let's uh, shift in the next one. So this time what I'll do... Let's also forget the layout. Okay, I want to put in... One, two, three... And three quarters, because that's how many stacks we need, and there's one in each one. So now when I chuck in all the golden lapis, the redstone will make sure we don't use too many of the others. So uh, probably like one, two, three, four, five, six, whatever. And then lapis. One, two, three, four. Uh, maybe should have took, taken the blocks on that one. Well, that being said, actually it probably doesn't matter, because you could probably use like a different thing as well, but the lapis would be fine. Yeah, look at that. Made 48 already. 
All right. I might have uh, greatly overestimated how many resources I needed here. That's it. Very good. Very good. And then we'll put those back into the system. Cool. Let's finish up this tea as well. Also, my calculator is covering up my uh, slobs screen. Hmm. We got some interesting topics to talk about later today as well. I listened to a uh, a video called uh, "Why Your Favorite Str uh, Why Your Favorite Streamers Are Depressed." Okay, I'm not depressed. Air quotes, but uh, air quotes. <laughs> ah! Was that a Freudian slip? Oh God, I've revealed my inner feelings to myself. Um, <laughs> that's hilarious. Right, one, two, three, four. Yeah, that and uh, also the Mr. Beast uh, Squid Games. I watched that. I thought it was awesome. Wanted to uh, talk about those two things in a little bit. But we've got to focus, right? You know? Got to do some uh, some proper crafting for a minute here. All right? I think what I want to do is uh, forget these, actually. Just in case I somehow accidentally make the... Like, can you just go away? Cheers. Ah, making me click everywhere. Okay, so now we're making this one. And it's also going to require that. Now this is the one I'm most concerned about. Although we're using... Yeah, so I kind of need to put the right amount of this in. So it's 240 times 4 divided by 64. 15 stacks of each material is what I've got to put in. I need a little bag. I think I need a bag pouch thing. Where is it? One of these. There we go. So I need 15 stacks of each. And uh, this is where it gets complicated again because I kind of need to remember some slots. So we've got redstone. We need the gold nuggets. How much gold is this project going to chew for, right? So we put a few of those in. We've got to make sure this one's output is in the input buffer. So if we make that many, let's make sure there's always four in here. And then they disappeared. What? Oh. Of course they would. Um, hmm. Off. On to activate. Yeah, yeah, okay, now I can fix this. And we just want to remember. Except not that one, but whatever. <laughs> okay. So I said that we needed... Oh, actually, I need to remember that as well. Yes. Now we can put it to on. So we need to put in... How many stacks did I calculate? 15. We've already done one, so we need another 14 stacks of each. Dang, that's a lot. Okay, the slide of flint. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, and the iron. Counting with X, that's what we're doing today. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Dang. That's kind of it, really. Just keep chucking this stuff in and it will keep going, I think. Right, then we ran out of gold. In you go. And what do we run out of now? Or did it make enough? It hasn't made enough. I'm not sure what we've run out of there. Let's take those out. Oh, hmm. What have we run out of? We've got all of those things, right? Chat, what's going on here? We've got redstone, we've got the golden nuggets, and we've got the flint and steel, yet it's not crafting them. Maybe it just needs to... Oh, okay, right, there must have been a visual glitch because the gold has gone... A 
there's four more. Right, and then, yeah, okay, here we go. There it is, perfectly done again. Lovely. That is that is wonderful when we do that. What's next? What challenge is next? Right, a much easier one. Much easier, because all we're going to do is put in those redstone and then everything else around it. Okay, uh, one, two, three, four. What are you making, says Zax? We're making a mob farm. X, to me, school seemed hard, like maths and stuff, but now everything seems easy. Do you think this has to do with brain development, says Skyfire? Yeah, I mean, as time goes by, when you're young, at least, you get smarter, supposedly. Hopefully. Okay, uh, let's go chuck in the redstone. And that's our limit, obviously. Okay, now we need a bit more gold and rotted flesh. Or not. Oh, I see what happened there. Now just some rotted flesh. Sweet. That made the correct amount. Cool. What's next? These things. Right. Same dealio again, I guess. Get our redstone. One, two, three, four. And a bunch of these. And... Oh, we actually have spider eyes. You know, it was, it was possible we could encounter something that I didn't yet have. But not today. Now we need, uh, well, visual glitch? Yeah, spider eyes. I dislike the two brain cells joke. It seems very content creator is just putting themselves down so hard. All the jokes. Yeah, we need to end the two brain cell, you know. We need to, we need to stop that. What about the one brain cell creators like myself? God, I'm going to continue to put myself down. That's what I'm going to do, if you like it or not. <laughs> okay, that might have been insensitive. I don't know. I'm just being an idiot, right? Uh, okay. What's next? I might as well just click on the crafter for the next one. Take those back. Mob masher upgrade. Spider. Oh, we're on the last one. Cool. Ah! Oh, it's thrown a whammy my way. It's thrown a whammy. I don't know why I'm calling it a whammy, but that's what we're calling it. Okay, so this is going to be a tricky one to figure out. The last one. Let's go in there. Let's get those iron helmets. Uh-huh. Uh, input should come internally over here. Gold helmets. Input internal. Apply. Uh, let's forget everything. Let's turn off the machine. Off to activate. Yeah. No, on to activate. That's the one we want. Okay, so we need some iron and some gold. Uh, I guess I need to also craft these, so... Apparently I can make a golden gun. Need two of those and two of the other. And then we need our redstone as always and gold is the other one. So one, two, three, four. And where are my gold blocks at? They'd be handy about now. There they are. Okay then, so I'm going to be putting in the golden nuggets. I'm going to have these. And then we're going to have the redstone. And all it needs to do is remember that, really. Cool, so let's go ahead and... Uh, well, we can start it. The, the, the one thing I need to do, though, is just run the calculation for the amount of gold that we're putting in. So, okay, let's uh, clear the numbers over here. Right. We're making 240. But then we've got to multiply that by 2, because there's 2 of each going in. Multiply it by 5, because that's the amount of ingots going in. And we get 2,400. We divide that by 64, and we have... 
37.5. Wow, okay. Okay then, so we've already used one of those stacks. Let's take away one. So it's 36.9. Okay, this is 18, 27, 36. And then we need a half stack. Do the same for iron. Wow, we actually chewed into some of that accumulative um, resources that we've been gathering, I guess. Like, it's taken quite the hit. So that, in theory, is enough there. Let's get rid of those little bits. Um, and then, what else was we putting in? The gold around the edge, I haven't really calculated. So let's go back to gold, and let's just do that. Fill up the rest of the inventory. And then come over here, and we did put the gold there. What we didn't do was put these in. So we'll have those as well. So let's remember that layout, and now we're going to activate it, and hopefully I've done everything correctly. Okay. <laughs> uh, we do have a bit of a inventory space issue, I'll admit. Okay, that wasn't helpful. It's kind of working, isn't it? What are we missing then? Iron, there we go. It's working, it's just, it's so fast, it's just like, what's going on? I don't even understand. Weird computer game. Okay, so we've got too many gold helmets there at the moment. Yeah, it's just a game of sort of mousing over. Oh, that we don't want. Alright, we are almost there though, peeps, we are almost there. So quick. Hey, we did it. And we made a few too many helmets by the looks of it. Let's turn this thing off. How many? We made one extra helmet. Well, that's not terribly inefficient then, is it? <laughs> well, accidentally one, one too many helmets. That's pretty good. Right, we have all the upgrades. All of the upgrades are right there. Let's hope I don't accidentally throw this bag into the void. Would all of these fit in my inventory? They would, so I don't even need the bag now. And I'm wondering if there's a quick way to um, interact with these things. Right, now this drops me below the void, doesn't it? So it would be terrible if I started looking at the other screen or getting distracted by something in chat. <gasps> Whew. I should get the calculator off my screen. That'll distract me. Oh, numbers. Oh, look. That bit never got built. Okay, um, I did say about like clicking on it, but I think what we just do is that, and then it takes the maximum. Cool. That is a pretty good method, because it's not going to take us very long to put them all in. Sometimes you have to do a load of clicking and configurating, don't you? But not us, because we use the brain smarts over here. That's what we do. We use up all one brain cells, or two. I can't remember what, what we're allowed to say anymore. When he says keep the bag X, it's like an ender bag. Any other green bag will have the same inventory. Oh, wow, I did not realize that. That is kind of better than this thing. Although, that thing connects up to a chest, even though I never use it. But I, I only have one green pouch. So I don't know what kind of work I'd have to do to get another one, right? Anyway, we're focusing on this mob farm today. I was just thinking I might get one from a chest. Maybe we can do some of those uh, quests again. But not today, not today. Also, I should probably check that 10 is going in each and every time. It might, I might accidentally shift in the last of a, a depleted stack and not realise that it's uh, not put the right amount in or something. Looks like they're all 10s though. They're all 10s. Very good. All tens. All tens. Sounds like I'm saying all tens now. All tens. That did not have all of those in. Aha. And then the very last one. Yeah, look at that. Sweet. 
This thing is so close. So close. The next thing we'll do is go hook up that ender chest. We've got a noise in the air. It's Evil X. Billman, 68, here for 60 months. Incredible. Been watching your videos since season two of Hermitcraft. Keep it going. Thank you, my dude. Thank you. That is incredible. Thank you for sticking around for so long. Season two of Hermitcraft. What a nostalgic era it is now. I think my favourite seasons are 6, 7 and 2. And 4. 4 was, four was good too. Right, let's... um. Let's now type in Ender. Chest. No, we haven't got one. So, Ender, ender Chest, we make it. Um, red Die, we need it. Diamond, we need that too. Play the red die at homie. There it is. There it is. No nope, diamonds. Then we're going to need some conduits. And possibly speed upgrades for them. Oh wait, types in the same thing. I uh, don't see any. Hmm. One! Oh, you're taking the mick. You're taking the mickey. That should be good enough. Uh, Concor91, thank you for subscribing, my dude. Very much appreciate that. And I hope you're uh, enjoying the stream we're doing over here. On the twitch.tv slash the assumer. I keep saying it. I'm, I'm slowly drilling it into your brain. Psychology. That's what's going on here. So we need, a, we need like an entrance. I think I'm just going to add another slave. Didn't we have some issues with adding a slave last time? I can't remember, but... Uh, We'll give it a shot. I wonder if that repair... No, look at that. Okay. We've got that repair thing. It keeps our pick repaired. I was just wondering if it charges that, but it doesn't. I mean, you might say obviously, but, you know, you never know how these things are uh, hooked up. So, conduit. Mm -hmm. Now, I'm not sure if I can add more branches into the slave to get the speed up. I think you actually have to create more connections on this thing. I think is how it works. So, like, if I want this thing to be super duper fast, which I will, I think it needs to be like that. Right, so... We can now do this. Uh-huh. It's already filled up with stuff. Interesting. Let's create an insert channel over here, and then let's enable the extracts. Enable, enable, enable. I'm also going to split these up for now. So, that should be pretty good. Still only takes out the loot bags one at a time. Interesting. Legendary! Patient bag! Oh, we're getting all the things. Yeah, that's actually, that's actually not fast enough for my liking. So, I think we'll make more upgrades and more conduit connections. Uh, I think the thing we were short on was pistons, and it's probably just the cobble that was limiting it. I should really have a cobble stash, shouldn't I? I should have, like... Hang on, let's go... Where do I want to go? Ugh, I don't know where I am. I'm all confused. Right, over here. This thing... Hmm, I'm just wondering if I could... Uh, I'll tell you what, I could put something in sort of out of sight. Let's get some zag over here. Some zig and some zag. I think this is mistaken. You are a mistake. Yeah, I'm going to put that... Can I not put that there? Okay, in which case, I will just do this. You win. You win, Zag. Get what you want. Right. Now I need to go through there. Round to the other side. So, what I'm thinking is... These blocks are not needed. Those blocks are not needed. Why don't we add... Yes, this is, this is very simple to do what I want to do. Okay, so... I'm going to go in here. I'm going to add a conduit. Nope. I'm going to add a drawer. This drawer is going to have an upgrade on it. The amount of upgrades we put on it. In fact, I might... Mm, I'll put one on for now, but I might fill it up more later. So, 
What I'll do here is I put it there so it's a part of the frame drawer network. Then I will steal some cobblestone. I need cobble. There we go. Chuck that in here. Going to need to lock it in a second. So we are inserting on red. What I'll do is I'll put red here on insert. And then I'll set it priority one. So it'll put cobblestone in there first before it puts it in our other system. And when it's full, it then goes into the other system. So now when I try and create things like pistons wirelessly, uh, it won't run out of cobble because if we look at it, we now have a higher base level. And that's because it's stored in that drawer there. Did that make sense, peeps? Or did I do I need to explain it further? I think it made sense. So now when we do this, it will make a full stack, provided we got all the other materials, which we apparently do. And now I'm missing redstone torches. Of course I am. Stack of those. And we got that. Sweet. Right, okay. So I don't know if this thing is limited by the input too, but I guess uh, we're going to find out. So we want it to extract on green. Down the bottom we want it to do the same. Oh wait, that's the one I need to click. And then we'll throw in some more upgrades. And that should be pretty darn efficient at that point, hopefully. Rightio then, uh, let's look at this inventory because it's messy. We don't need these things here, we don't need that, 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 or any of those. Cool, clean inventory, right. I don't think X is really into musicals, says Bear. Yeah, musicals have not really been my thing. Is it forcing like a backlog of cobble, says Syme. Yes, it is, yeah. It's like, it's going to fill up that drawer we added, but then when it's full, it will go back into the compressing system. Problem with the compressing system is it meant the smallest amount of cobblestone was always going down to zero. Right, so what do we have left to do? We've got to pick up our dark glass, finish placing those around the edges, and then I think we're pretty much there, unless I've failed to uh, think of something important, I guess. So if you have been watching and you're like, X, you have forgotten to do that thing, you. You idiot, X. All right, be kind in chat, you know, tell me, but don't be like, you're an idiot. That's not helpful. God, don't go throwing insults at me, chat. Jeez. Right, I need helpful, helpful suggestions. You have a creeper on your head. I, I was like, why is there a creeper in there? No, it just has a creeper on its head. So, I'm going to get rid of this. Oh, it's so painful and slow. Ugh. Oh, I've moved over a tiny bit and have to start again. Oh, the phone. Yeah, there we go. See you later. Right, all of that's gone. Now the, uh, the, the, the pick will magically heal itself. So, yeah, this thing goes to the ceiling until later on I decide I'm going to do some aesthetic work. You know, which will happen. And this will be one of our, like, largest scale aesthetic projects too, so that's going to be interesting. Okay. So I guess I can... I need a bit of stone. I need a lot of stone. Or do I? I don't know how much stone I need. That's going to get removed in a second. So I probably... Right. F3G. Right, I actually need to place the dark glass now on the underside. Here's where using a wand could potentially mess it up. I'm not careful. So we've got to bring this over. Oh yeah, there you go. That's not what I want. Uh, this side's okay for that, isn't it? And I'm out. And I'm out of glass. Dang it, I need more. I've kind of forgot that we need to build this surface here. Well, we've left that where it is. Oh! Oh, I can't get to my viaduct. I think buffoon is one of my favourite insults, says Seth Live. It's a good one, isn't it? It's a good one. I like it. I don't know why, because I call myself it, you know? Put myself down too much. Next, can you explain the point of the middle column stone? Why, like, have it completely open spawning platforms? Um, there isn't really any reason for it, other than the mobs that spawn in the middle are further away from the edge. Like, the vector plates move them so ridiculously fast, it's probably not a problem. But if it were slower, it would be more of an inefficiency, right? So, 
I felt like putting it in there for multiple reasons, and that was one of them. Right, we need glass. Okay, there we go. That's going to be most of it. Then we need that uh, this stuff and some of that stuff. We've got so much of that now. That's terrific. Right. How many did I put? 9, 10, 11. 1, 2. Oh, I'll just fill it all the way up, really. My inventory, right? Cool. Let's go put these things in. There we go. 1, 2, 1. 1, 2, 1. 1, 2, 1. Very nice. I think I might just leave it like that for now. Cool. And I think I want to turn that thing off over there. I, I would like a wireless redstone thing for this. Or maybe one day upgrade it so we have like 16 levers for all the different colours. But I want to put that in like a, a master control room. As we get more things that can be controlled remotely, like this over here, we, we're going to build a master control room, I think. Hmm. Dang, I love this place, right? Isn't it terrific? And, you know, that's that's a bit of a loose end. I'll give you that one. This, this, this could be tidier. Also, I was thinking, like, we shouldn't be afraid to change stuff. What if uh, what if we decided we didn't like these planks at one point and changed them? I do like them, but I feel like there might be a better texture in the game somewhere. I think I want to remove them here, most of all. Like, I never really liked them in the middle that much. Do you know what? Some of these textures look like they could very easily match that one. Oh, it's made out of that stuff. Oh, I could, could put some Certus ones in there, right? Maybe we could try that. Hmm. I'm going to try it. Wait, where do they go? Now, which one do I have the most of? Certus Quartz and Pure. No, apparently I'm not searching. Oh, there we go. We are. So, it's definitely regular Certus Quartz. And that's because they come from the sieves, right? I wonder if they... Wait, can they be uncrafted? Because they could go into a compacting drawer. Ooh. 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 Let's uh let's make a compacting drawer or grab one if we've already got one. No oh, compacting drawers. Okay. We're 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 definitely getting distracted again. But I like it. There's so many things to get distracted by, you know? You can stop thinking about how depressing life is. What? And just play Minecraft. Is it me or is Oh, do you know what it is? Is that That was a dark humour joke, peeps. Don't worry about me. Certus Quartz Crystal. It's actually in one on its own. That's kind of perfect. But there is a slight problem. You know, it's symmetry. Oh, symmetry. What are you doing to me? Right, let's uh, let's go grab that and swap them around. Uh, so what I should probably do is grab that first. Come down here. Slap it onto that. Give it a big old slap. Right break this um, so then uh-huh uh-huh that goes there oh I don't know which one's which I guess it doesn't matter well we've got the right one uh, so then I'm gonna put that there we need to lock got it uh, do you know what we actually needed a distraction right now because we're waiting on uh, the glass to smell then we need some conduit power. And some upgrades. And there's the upgrades. Cool, we didn't have many left. So we'll extract, boom boom, and then we'll insert. Now if we type it in here again, we'll see... Aha, look at that! Beautiful! And it's slowly filling up. So I'll grab a stack of those and I'll chuck this into uh, to there. Wherever it goes, cool. There might be some other stuff like that that needs configurating over here. Like maybe the bone blocks, right? Ooh, bone blocks. Do they exist in 1.12? Oh, God, I don't even know. 
Okay, now, one thing I can't do here is I can't use Vein Miner. Because there it will Vein Mine all Chisel and Bits block, and I will cry. Because there are a lot of them in this area. Right, now, chat, I need your help. I need your feedback. What do you think of this? Oh, we also had a, a noise in the ear seven minutes ago. Zephyrka Maximka. I may have butchered your name, but thank you so much. Appreciate the support. I really like that texture. I, uh, I hope you're enjoying the stream and what we're doing here. What do you think, peeps? Does it work? Very bright white, says Baytan Daniel. Yeah, it might be a bit on the bright side, actually. I'll give you that, but... I don't know. I feel like it'll fit. We've got this big diamond chest. We've got this interesting panelled floor. I don't know. It just feels to me like it might be just what we need. Hey, I just had a bit of an idea. Ooh! Once I disconnect the bottom bit, I think I can vein mine the top stuff. I just, I, do you know what? It, there might be like some diagonal touching block somewhere, and I don't think it's worth the risk, so we'll take it all off mine, mate. How come he isn't playing two, says Viscous? Ah, so I didn't want to play number two because it was on the FTB launcher, and I don't, or like my experience with FTB utilities is that it wasn't very good and it caused us problems in the past. It's actually in this pack. But I just picked the first one since apparently the second one was more like a, an update to number one than it was the like an actual second edition of, right? That tends to be it with mod packs though, like they're all pretty similar to one another anyway, but often like a sequel to an original one tends to be pretty similar in my experience. But yeah, I just decided after chatting with Hypno, um, yeah, I think actually I'll just stick to the original one is, uh you know, Hypno knows is modded and reckoned that... Ah, okay, we can't do that. Reckoned that 2 was just basically, you know, 1.5, like a bit of a halfway upgrade, so... I'm liking it, actually. I'm really liking that. It's like the first thing I saw, and I was like, ooh. And it works. And I'm out! Oh, gosh, I'm out. Look at this. They're all just going to never think about them again. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Becca says, poll time. Oh, okay. I'll do a poll. I'll do a poll. We need we need predictions is what we need. This isn't the right kind of game for that. Oh, by the way, I've been uh, slowly picking up some games that I want to play. In January, I think I'm going to do like variety month for like every other day is uh, a different game. Should be cool. Um, do you like the stairs? Yes. No. I care not. <laughs> I don't know. Have fun. Have fun with the pole, peeps, because I'm keeping these stairs. 93 Lightwolf, thank you for using your Amazon Prime subscription on me, my dude. Appreciate that. Hope you're uh, entertained, enjoying the stream, and thank you for your support. Right, we are getting close to firing up that mob farm. Because we're going to have all that glass ready once I've done this. Oh, we need, what, four, five more blocks? Eight. We needed eight. Cool. That was a nice change. The uh, the tint doesn't quite match that. Let's, let's type in stairs. Because there were a few different ones, right? Like, mana. Maybe that one matched it more, but I don't have these. I'm not doing that. No. No, not Batani. I don't want to be traumatised again. Go. Okay, backpack. And then, over here, collect this stuff. Right. We're very, very close. Are y'all excited? Let's see the results of the poll. we got 800 peeps tuning in to see this mob farm getting fired up. Thank you everyone for coming by. Yes, most of you like the stairs. 27% of you care not. And 11 say no. So I think that's pretty pretty much a resounding win for the new stairs. Well done, stairs. You, you were textured just right. Okay, uh, we've got to hop in here to do this next bit. Oh, it's night time as well. Okay. And we've got to place all of this. Now, I might find myself stuck in the farm. Right, this is why I wanted some more stone. So that we could uh, lift this thing up. Now, technically, it's already ready to go. 
So when I remove that torch, it's going to uh, it's going to kick off down here basically. Oh. Oh my god, it's kicking off, peeps. Oh jeez, the action. It's unstoppable. No, we don't see anything happening because we're up here. So I need to be above it. Uh-huh. And now in theory, right, nothing should spawn on top of that glass. Oh my god, it's working. And it's going to be super fast. Oh my god. Did you see how fast that was? This is why we built it down at the bottom of the world. Oh, this is terrifying. I feel like I'm going to drop into the void. Oh my god. Okay. Do oh, I'm, I'm alive. I'm alive. Right. So if I stand here, I really need a zoom. Oh, do you know what I need? I need that. Yeah. Now I'm I'm obviously way too close to it, but on that opposite corner. Now the question of how quickly they get killed is important. We have things spawning on this platform over here, which I can take care of. Uh, wrong thing. So now I want to go here and go to the torch. Because on this side of the glass, we're going to light it up, obviously. We'll uh, we'll do that with some much better aesthetic choices. Glowstone and stuff soon. But yeah, no other, no other spaces to spawn. I should probably disable my other mob farm as well now. Don't shoot at me or you'll fall in the void. Karma. What did I tell you? Let's try it again. So, all the way back up here. And they're spawning just down there. And they get, they get wrecked pretty quick, don't they? It's all about how quickly do they get killed. Now, I think the way the vector plates are laid out, they kind of get whizzed around a bit, which probably doesn't kill them super quick. So we might be able to tweak that and make some changes. To me, it looks like they go back and forth across the back. Like they're, they're like whizzing back and forth in this space. Uh, all the items are getting picked up. Let's have a little check. This side over here would have been feisty for a second. Right, we need to void. Oh, is it me or is it not actually taking that out? That's interesting. We'll uh, keep an eye on that. Right, the items are still... I think while I'm here, stuff's happening on the opposite side. So now we can get an idea of how quickly it unloads drops. Although it will probably run a lot faster than this when it's finished. That seems pretty good to me. That seems... Like it's taking care of it. Wow, okay. I'm liking this. Definitely definitely feels like the killing over here could be a little bit quicker, right? They just kind of whoosh about. So the way to change that would be possibly to change those vector plates in this direction. But then what they're going to do is whiz them back and forth that way. I think it might be worth installing some slower plates at the back here and there. That's what it might be worth doing to make sure that they get properly pushed into the mob crusher. Right, you need to get off of here so we can have maximum rates. Right, now when we go back up here, they're going to start spawning a lot more. But the thing is, it is a long way away from where I am, so they might not stay alive long enough, which is an interesting observation. Okay, this farm over here is not doing much. So we can check on the activity by looking at... Wow. Wow. It's running while I'm up here. Now, it could be that there's lots of stuff in the vacuum hoppers. It's slowly moving out. Patient bag coming through. That's terrific. It looks to me like it's continuously running. So now we need uh, conduit. We're going to do some experiments. We're going to get our uh, upgrades, of which I believe we ran out. Got one. We need more than that. Let's make more. Uh huh. Two. Oh, we ran out of the steel. Let's get some more of that. X, the bats are taking up the mob caps, says Calamity. Uh, the bats have their own mob caps, so that's not a problem. Let's uh, grab some electrical steel. And let's make those upgrades. Oh yeah, we're done with this glass and all of that. Oh, did I not get a full stack? What's uh, redstone torch? Redstone torch. Probably gonna need some pistons too, right? And then we do that. 
There you go, whole stack. Yeah, so we need to we need to shut that mob farm down to make the one down below better. Although you could argue, well, yeah, that's an inefficient farm, so it's better for them to be in the one that's better managed. Okay, so right, we're now going to go and attach yet another thing here with full upgrades. Now, I wouldn't be surprised if that doesn't make too much of a difference, right? So what I'm wondering is if we have an insert limit. Oh, why are you standing there, buddy? Yeah. Okay, so we'll make another channel, which is red. And we'll set two of these to red. Or maybe even three. And I wonder if it will then be able to shift items in quicker. Doesn't really look like it, does it? Hmm. So the argument for multiple ender chests is a strong one. But it's starting to look like it's actually backed up a fair bit. You'd want to see a bit more clear space here. Right, we'll go check up on the farm after we've disabled this one. Uh, so what I think I'll... I, I don't... No, nah, what I don't want to do is just remove all the vector plates, right? So I think the best way to disable it is with glowstone. We just put in a bunch of this stuff in here. Okay, I'm going to turn off my night vision. So if I do it like this, you know, we're pretty much stopping anything from spawning in here. And then that space down there as well. Cool. So this thing is still here. It's not going to just be eliminated from the world, which is cool. And then we'll check on this thing again. Yeah, it looks pretty brutal, doesn't it? Looks pretty brutal. So we might have to switch to using uh, two different ender chest channels. Let's check out the storage though. It doesn't doesn't seem like it's immediately overwhelmed. I don't feel like I'm seeing any new items pop in though, right? I think we're getting all the same sorts of items. They just come in faster. Right, so now we travel down. That being said, what I want to do... Don't actually need to come over here, but I am. Let's make some factory blocks. Again. I, I want to make my landing area safer. There we go. All of that. We got a noise in the ear. It's D Cubed Live here with a prime. Thank you, D Cubed. Very much appreciated. I hope you're uh, entertained, enjoying the stream, loving the stone block world like I am. I'm loving it. This this place is great. Uh, is the red channel on insert, says Emma D do. Great question. Let's double check that I actually configured it properly because if I didn't, that would have been a, do a, a derp. Extract. Wow, well spotted. So, I goofed and... Now you can see actually that it is running faster, but we may have created like a big backup of items and we want it to be able to deal with stuff like that. Uh, another thought crossed my mind. Okay, this thing is going to get diamond stuff coming through quicker. So would these other trash nodes, but it looks like that's not a thing to worry about. Okay, that might end up giving it some more. Look, see it just got us a diamond. Wow, we just built a diamond farm as well, I guess. Did you turn off the mob spawner? This is Wiley. It, this doesn't have an on-off switch unless I do something with that uh, wand. Like wand? Not the wand. The the torch. I don't know if it's got if it can be turned on and off with redstone, but that would be one way to deal with it. So I kind of want to like, drop down onto a platform so I don't die. And uh, I, I did say I need some glowstone here, but I think we're just going to throw down some torches for now. Because I haven't really thought too much about the aesthetic of this area. On a larger scale, it doesn't look as nice. Gotta say that. Right, so what I actually needed to check up on was, like, down here. Right, I kind of expected to see those fill up with items. The fact that they're not, to me, is kind of promising. 
I think our system basically keeps up as is. So I might just leave it alone. Like if I if I start getting lag and there's items getting caught down here, then I'll make the changes. But otherwise, it feels to me like it's a little bit pointless to do that. Um, right, so I want to I want to have this floor space. I want to be able to come down here and have a really big area where I can look into it. But I kind of don't like this anymore. And I feel like we need something that things can't spawn on. So maybe we go with slabs. Alright. So we have... Maybe we just make it... Oh, do you know what I was saying earlier about having... Like being able to see the void? Maybe we could still do that if I hid, hid this a little bit. So you come down here through like the opening to access all of this. And it would be a bit... A bit annoying to access it from here, but it can be done. Hmm. And then if I needed to change the colours, I'd have to rip out some blocks. So what if I... Yeah, okay, I think I know what I'm going to do here. I kind of want my magnet to pick all these blocks up. Okay, when we get to this corner, things will be a little different, I think. Grab our destruction gadgets because we're going to do some destructing. Uh, not like that though. Good thing that I weren't configured. Okay, um, I don't want to accidentally destroy. Oh, that seems good. Yeah, that's what I want. Hey, it's repairing my chisel. <laughs> my chisel is slowly being repaired. Chisel is what I want to use. I was just getting a little confused then. I was like, what am I doing? Where am I? What am I doing? Oh, disoriented streamer over here. Leave me alone. Where is the XP going from the ender tanks? It's actually not going anywhere at the moment. Because this thing doesn't seem to actually be pushing it. Oh, I created a cake. I don't know... I think we had this issue before. Oh, I remember what it was. Is it that? No, that's not it. Well, when it doesn't pick up XP, that is a good point. What happens? If I go stand on the opposite side, it might take a little longer for it to all get filled up. The XP is not going in the tanks, says Worry. Maybe I just create like a liquid void and put those next to it. That because I was pretty much going to avoid it, avoid it anyway. There it is. Okay, so we've got XP there that isn't getting picked up. I picked it up. This must be full, and the next one. Okay, I think this the the best solution is actually uh, a trash, except it won't be in there. Trash for liquid. Trash can fluid. So we need like. 24 of these. Cool. I think XP tank needs to go down the hopper. If I do want to eventually get the XP tank out of it, uh, sorry, get XP out of it, I don't know what I'll do, but we'll find a way. The problem is I'm about to cover it up a bit. Oh, hello, Enderman. What I was thinking of doing, oh, they're going to keep teleporting out. Unless this is like a floating void area, right? Hmm. I kind of don't want you teleporting out. I wonder if they, like, they don't teleport to, like, double carpet, right? But I wonder if they don't teleport to, uh... Oh, wait, I wanted to keep that here. Don't teleport to glass. So I was going to do that, and then maybe the wall is like the opposite side of this. Now again, I'm leaving spaces where I need light. I guess I could hide light under there, but... Or, the wall is like literally on the corner, and then the light under here hopefully is enough for all of that. Because then I'm thinking we have like glass back here. But we don't want to see these things through the glass. At least I don't want to. So we have this additional bit. Then all of that needs lighting. Hmm. 
Maybe we'll save this for another day, because... I don't know, it's a bit of a pain to suss out what I want to do here, right? Chat, what do you think? They're going to teleport out, so we can't really build a platform. We could build one out of glass, though, maybe. X, the ender inhibitor will stop them from teleporting. You could read chat, Suspecker. Here I am, reading chat, and I'm getting... Ugh. Uh, we also got Amia Macy here gifting a sub to the Puzzlax. Thank you for gifting that sub. Very much appreciate you supporting our community. So this we've seen before and we didn't use it. Now it inhibits teleportation for entities up to 8 blocks away that can be attached on any side of solid blocks. Can't be attached on glass then. So I'd have to put them like on... Uh, there's, there's room for it, isn't there? There's room for it. So we'll try that. That, that would then obviously give us many more options. Let's get 24 of these, which might be absolute overkill. And I guess I need to get you out of here. Huh? Uh, I don't want you coming back. Right, I need, I need to break this glass. Oh wow, that broke quick. Hopefully that doesn't mess up anything with mobs in Oh god, a creeper might get shot at me if I'm not... If I'm unlucky. We're also going to modify the vector plates in here. I think I might do that while I'm in the area. Probably a good idea to put the uh, torch down somewhere, I guess. Right, now we've got some ender inhibiting action going on. Vector vectors, where are you at? Right, we've got two of that speed, and now I need more. That should be enough. Okay, so I think what we want is to take out the ones in the corners. Oh, Jesus, frighten me. Yeah, and then just replace them. Right. Oh, you plonker! You Wally! You buffoon. I am unfollowed. Yeah, we need to um, just change these ones. And this is a good waffle time now, I think. Right? Who likes waffles? Do you like waffles? In chat, let me know. Also, I should really get that torch placed down somewhere. I think this thing can just sort of be, yeah, placed floating. There we go. I'm safe. I'm safe. I'm safe from myself. Chat, if you like waffles, stick around, because I'll be right back. I'm nipping to the loo, and then we'll have a chat while I place blocks. Be right back. Welcome back, I said to myself. Y'all are still here. Ah, you are listening to the sound of me guzzling water. 
What's up, Asuma? I watched the VODs. I'm currently only at day 10, but I thought I'd pop in to see what's coming. This is Harana. Oh, you are going to get all the spoilers, my friend. All the spoilers. I can't remember where we were at at, at day 10, but uh, things get things get speedy uppy, they do. We get better and better at doing stuff. I just realised these might be getting picked up by the vacuum hoppers before they get picked up by me. Wow, I don't like having that on my hotbar right now. Ah! Push me back it will. So we got this modification to make and then the one under the... Uh, the liquid one, the liquid XP one, that's the one. I always think it's funny how X's mouse goes crazy every time he sneezes. That's because I'm a violent sneezer. Right, anyway, talky topics. So I watched this video. Um, and I heard this term recently as well. I forget where... It, oh, actually, I oh know. It's in the book I'm listening to. The hedonic treadmill. Oh, oh, tell us about this hedonic treadmill, X. Um... Basically, the, the video I watched was talking about how, like, people on Twitch have been, uh, like, talking about their mental health around streaming and saying, like, they're unhappy and whatnot. And remember, peeps, whenever someone says um, that they're unhappy, you know, you, or, or whatever mental health related, you should always take people seriously, all right? It's never, never a good idea to think you know... You know someone else better than than they know themselves, especially over the internet, because you you know what it's like. Some people are like streamers. You play games all day and you're saying you're depressed. What's going on? Like, well, do you do this for a living? Do you know what it's like? So anyway, basically, um, once you once you get established as a streamer and you have an audience, then you have audience pressure, like. You are now like becoming beholden to people watching you in the form of a bunch of numbers and statistics, right? And um, the problem with it for some of these streamers is that it's seen as like if you're not growing and you're not pulling in more and more viewers, then your air quotes dying or shrinking. And so a lot of these Twitch streamers like feel these psychological pressures to. Um, Kind of, kind of, you know, constantly grow. Otherwise, it doesn't feel right. It feels like you're failing at what you're doing. Apparently, I missed a corner. Well, we'll go, we'll go back and double check things. And this is, this is like a battle that I've been through, you know, on YouTube, and I've avoided it on Twitch. And for me, it felt like I kind of, I kind of got my head round all of this stuff years before it became more of a mainstream or like more of an exposed topic to talk about how content creators like suffer from burnout and fatigue and whatnot and so I'm kind of like well and truly past all of this but I definitely went through some of it on YouTube not so much on Twitch uh, I can think of a couple that have quit in recent months due to the pressures of Liga Gaming all oh, right, I um, yeah, I did hear that some people had left over it, but I wasn't really taking names because I don't know, just constantly surrounded by names on the internet, and it's just a bit much to keep up with. Skyfight says, I think mental health doesn't get taken seriously yet. Once it became a thing people recognised, many started being hypochondriac and saying they have depression while they are having just a bad day. But I gladly feel like this is getting less common and people are taking it more seriously. Yeah, but like the thing there is not to assume people are being hypochondriacs and always take people seriously. If you know someone really well and they're a part of your life and what, what they say about that stuff affects you, then you have your own autonomy to, you know, make a decision that counts in your life. But when it comes to just, you know, people over the internet that you don't know, that you're not... Um, not a part of your life. It doesn't really make sense in my mind to like be judging them when you have like basically less or little knowledge. 
Um, it, again, this is one of the reasons I really don't like the sharing of like Karen memes and things like that because they kind of paint particular types of people into a corner and then people tend to think associatively about, you know, boomers or whatever they think this person is rather than taking people individually or realizing that, you know, a lot of these memes that get shared, you're watching someone on a bad day or at their worst, whereas they might be capable of plenty of good most of the time. So I don't, I don't think it's wise to think in those sorts of ways. You just you just do have to take people at their word and some people will maybe take advantage of that. But it won't be most people. Most people are good and decent. And if there's a few people taking advantage of that, the fact that we pay attention to it will serve far more many people in a good way. Um, Shinny says, X, how was it to, for you to deal with a vertical relationship with fans? I imagine extremely different than just meeting people online. Um, when you say vertical, do you mean parasocial, like one way? I mean, I keep, I, I don't, I don't do any meetups. I don't, you know, encourage any kind of like IRL stuff. I keep it completely separate because I am just not. I don't, I don't seek fame. I don't want that sort of attention. Like I. You know, I'm, I'm fine with people IRL, but I, I wouldn't be fine with, I don't know, being the centre of attention. <laughs> Something like that, I don't know. Hard to put into words, but it's just, just how I feel. Right, peeps are keep, keep saying I missed a corner, so I'll try and find that corner for a second. Yeah. One, one little vector vector over here. Let's see if I can fix it quickly. Ah! No! I haven't died. I haven't died yet. We've well, done the whole series without dying, and and it didn't even feel like I went that close to it. Oh my god! I can't fly. How am I gonna get my stuff back? Oh, I'm not sure if I'm going to be bothered to put up with that kind of hassle. Um, oh, that's absolutely terrible. I think my... Um, okay, let's take... Uh, ooh. Wait, that. okay, that's the old helmet that I had. I don't know what I have to do to get my stuff back. Wait. Okay, I apparently have some of my... Armour, but I don't have those things. Okay, so forget that. We just put a helmet on, that's all we did. Don't worry, all of your gear got trashed, lol. Did it? What what makes you think it got trashed? Actually, it might have gotten picked up. Hmm, I think it goes into a grave. So for example What's the party pick? Right, I don't see the party pick in there, so that's one of the things that would have gone in. Okay, so I can't fly, but I can probably go down the viaduct and land on the platform. I'll need some blocks to get in the area. I should probably grab or make a torch. I really liked that I hadn't died. <laughs> so we'll put that nearby. Then we should be able to break the glass of our fist and get in. I don't think I need much more than that. Probably, probably making a mistake here. Mega torch, turn off the masher. I can't turn off the masher. The masher is permanently on. Right, I look at that. I, I left the platform there. Thank goodness, because now, full damage, just a small amount. Right, I don't have night vision, but oh, yeah, okay. Um, hmm. Where's my grave? It's is it the next corner? It's it should be like sort of here. Because that's the corner I was trying to fix. Wait, no, it's there. Okay, that helped. I don't see a grave. Oh, there's the grave. Oh, spider, please. Okay, let's put this thing down. Yeah, I kind of felt like I was high up, right? We'll have to watch the replays and stuff, but 
I didn't feel like I was that close to the mob masher and it just... Oh my god! Oh! Dear lord! You shouldn't be spawning. I put down that big torch, right? You ain't got a bow. You ain't got a bow! Now, how does this work? Sometimes you have to break the block. Sometimes you right click. That is just not cool. Well, now I've got my magnet back, so that kind of helps. Now I can fly. I've got that thing. That thing's epic. What did I lose? I don't think I lost a lot at all, really. I'm not sure what I lost, peeps. I certainly don't have that vector plate. I think it was just more baubles things, but I can't remember if... We had, like, another unique thing here that helped us at all. Hmm. Well, I'm going to need dark glass now. And then I'm going to need those vector plates. Okay, let's dive in glass. Dark clear glass. Good. Oh, I had, a, I had the magnet stashed in here. But I think the other things were just that and bow tie. Gluttony charm? We don't. Didn't have a gluttony charm. Your ring, says Baytan now. I don't remember having a ring, but we could search for one. Hmm. The problem is we, like, probably got something and just... You lost your dignity! Ah! Thanks, I lost my dignity today. Jeez, I didn't know that was going to happen when I was streaming. Right, now I, I feel a bit precarious in here because we didn't really... Right, I'm definitely all the way down here in the corner. That also totally ruined our conversation. There you go. Okay, I'm not going back in there again. That's done with. Benito. We've only got a tiny other job to do in here. Right, I think I'm gonna leave uh, I'm gonna leave this thing alone now. We've we've worked on it for a long time. Oh I can walk into this thing. Kinda like a regular torch. We worked on this thing. That just went in the void. What happened to my magnet? Well weird. Okay, I patched that up. Let's have a look at chat. Um, what do you think I might have lost? Because I think it would be just one item, if any. And it'll be in the storage system. But I don't know. I think maybe we didn't lose anything. Because it's all here. So, we've got to go around. Now, what annoys me about this is that I don't want to break the stone behind it. Yep, very good. That's what we need to do. Okay. So if I if I angle it, so we've got the ender chest behind, that'll work for me. It's not your day, is it, says Bear? To be honest... And that one in the book. Now it's not my day! Gah! Gah! Oh, do you know what? It probably didn't go in the void. It probably got picked up by a vacuum hopper, as would that torch. There you go. There you go. So, it's not really that bad, because it's modded Minecraft, and we immediately get all our stuff back. Oh, I did that wrong. But yeah, I mean, we always make derps when we play this, right? It's just part of the game. Over here, it might be a little more difficult to get to. Magnet off, someone says. I th I thought it was on. Maybe I just need to reset it, like... Turn it off, turn it on. Something like that. Yeah, there was no dirt button dopamine. Ah. Oh. I could make you wait for it. I could make you gamble on it. Let's see. Let's see what chat thinks of this. I already made up my mind. Okay. Okay, here we go. You got 30 seconds. Fingers at the keyboards or on the screens with the the you kids in your phones. Oh. Right. Your eyes are going to go rectangle. 
Will I give you the derpamine? I've already made up my mind, remember? You just gotta you gotta suss out. You know what he's like. You know, has Evil X been whispering in my ear today? That is the question. Kelsa Doom says I will not fall for this. Derp coin is too valuable. Well, could be an opportunity to make more derp coin. I mean, you gotta risk it. Risk it like a biscuit sometimes, right? Is it over? Is the prediction over? Let's have a look. Oh, look at that. 83% think I will. What a bunch of suckers. Oh, who betted the most? Cole Mick, 61,000 derp coin. Cole is, a, Cole is a bear for the dopamine. Sorry, a bull. <laughs> and midnight, 10,000 for the derp coin. Uh, guess what? Of course I'm going to give it to you. You know, we died... Where's the dirt button? We died, and then we broke sight by mistake whilst talking about having a bad day. That, that's two derps in my mind. I risked 5k for my derp I mean hit, says Cold Within. You're living life on the edge, I see. Living life on the edge. Yeah, it's a shame this uh, this liquid thing right here actually isn't, you know, working. Because uh, I wouldn't mind collecting a bunch of it in the future, but we'd have to come down and re-engineer this if we needed that. Right, that's all of them, isn't it? Nope, we've still got more. Oh, I guess I should know because I've literally got more in my inventory. Since our 1.9k derp... Do I suck? Says Opa 10. Well, I think it means... I think it means you, 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 you've you either thrown it all away, okay, which is a terrible idea because it's incredibly valuable, or, uh, or you just haven't been watching as much as others, which is perfectly fine. We were talking about not... Uh, we were talking about taking mental health seriously and not, not creating, you know... Uh, Bad faith actors, I think is where we're at. So, anyway, I think I'm going to leave this be now, this project. Like, maybe one or two more torches are required around here, just to be on the safe side. It was immensely fun, and now it will provide us with lots of goodies. And as I leave, I go, Geronimo! Off we go. Ah! Oh, this is really annoying. Woo! Right. Uh, let's go check on that ender chest, the one that zap zaps. Zaps? Zaps all the items out. Uh huh. So I see patient bags going into the system, which is cool. That'll slowly increase the rate at which. Hang on, let's turn off the night vision when we're in here. That'll slowly increase the rate at which we see things happening in here. So, currently... I need to turn this off, don't I? Where is the on-off switch for this thing? I think it's underground. Hang on, what's the best way? The way I used to get in was like through this gap here. Okay, there we go. Uh, y'all can just go into there. But some of these things need charging, don't they? Is it me, or did I maybe lose one or two destruction gadgets? Yeah, that's what I lost. A couple of those. Okay, then. Right, anyway, that's not working. Now we can look at this thing. So what I wanted to check up on is... It, to me, it doesn't look like there's too many more patient bags. So I'm not sure if this starts to back up at some point. I think it might once we get a certain amount in this system. 
But when we get them, then we should see... Like... They're all on zero at the moment. See, not a lot of activity there. I'm wondering... What is going on here? So... Yeah, they're not... It's not running at full capacity. That's interesting. Oh. Very peculiar. What happens on this side? Right. Interesting, interesting. Um, we don't really have a proper access point, do we? Could it be... Okay, we have... We have that thing that recycles it. Did I just, like, forget to configure? Insert is brown. Extract is brown. Always active. Aha. Aha. So why that side backs up, I'm not entirely sure. Down here is where we need to go. Right. UPG. Upgrade. Let's do that. Hmm. Does that does that increase extraction speed? That increases the amount of stacks, that's for sure. So let's go conduits. By the way, we've got a uh, donation here. Noise in the air from Curls of Doom. Curls, let me read it in one moment. Oh god, I'm bouncing. So I think we want to turn on the extract. So this should help a little bit. Hmm. I mean, it is just looking like it's chock a block constantly. Emmy import bus of acceleration cards is much faster, increases extraction speed and extraction amounts as midnight. I could do that, I could add that, I just. Bit of a distraction, it feels like. I'm just kind of curious, like, why, why is it backing up on this side first? Because if it does that, what happens to the bags that are floating in the pipes? Maybe, maybe only get, they go out when it has a destination. Um, because they they always appear to go somewhere, right? Yet when we look here, they're pretty full up. Not entirely sure what to make of that. In fact, it looks like there's way more of these in here now, doesn't it? Hmm. So there's the rate that items come out, and there's the rate that items go in. I'm wondering if at some point this rate will improve. I guess you, you would know when you start to see stuff reducing here, which it is. Okay, that's promising. So now I think what we're looking at is the amount of patient bags in the system is probably maxed. Yes, look. Okay, so... No, 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 wait, I'm looking at the wrong number. That one's got 30, this one's got zero. It's close to maximum. Let's go check the thing again. Yeah, I'm not entirely sure what to make of that. Just one Emmy bus of import cards says midnight. Yeah, but then I gotta hook up like a whole storage system for it. I mean it wouldn't take long, but I'm not sure if it would work any better. Plus I'm not sure where it would go. Hmm. See in my mind the speed of like the amount of bags going in is that times the amount of these that we got right here. So I don't really know what that looks like when it's in an ender chest. It's interesting how that side has always got more going on. Definitely increase the speed of it. But it... Ah, now it's starting at... Mm, maybe not. Um, is the import bus... Wait a minute. Does the import bus go onto the ender chest? Or on... Is the, was that the suggestion? You could just add more conduits to the end of chest for faster exporting. Well, I can add one more, but then I'd have to move it. Or maybe two more. 
It does look like it's improved dramatically. How does this system work again? We export from A2. So look at the amount of bags there. This thing is running with round robin. Oh, that could do with more of those. Okay. So that might just help speed it along. But anyway, that runs on the round robin. So in theory... Oh, look. These, are, these, are, these look full up. They're full up now. Yeah, okay. I think what we're seeing is it running at max capacity. So then what we've got to do is just get that thing running neat. I think I might just leave it. It's probably okay. Maybe add one extra conduit. Yeah, but it does appear to be running at max capacity now. And wasn't that 17 when we first walked over here? I'm not entirely sure. But uh, now, it'll, now it'll work on that. So let's uh, whiz over here again. Okay, there was room for one more. So we'll add one down the bottom. Hopefully that helps. Okay. Right, we really need to figure out... Curls, I have not forgotten you. I'm sorry. I, I, I sort of actually did forget for a second. I just want to figure out what we're going to do next. Right, let's go look at the book. We've done the mob farm now. And that was to boost the patient bag thing. Bardox in floor is a general idea. Dark armor we can work on, but I kind of want to get Ender IO up and running for that. There's more things than this. I think I might just do a bit of questing in the book, since I'm not entirely sure what to focus on. It's weird. When I'm, like, not streaming, I can think of lots of things to do in the world, but I don't always write them down. And then when I am streaming, sometimes it's a little harder, because you've got to think on a different level. When you're when you're streaming, you're chatting and... Ch uh, you're thinking and chatting. And when you're not, you're just thinking. So you can get a much better idea of what you want to do when you're not streaming. That's why it's good to take those notes. Poor curls, says Becca. I'll get to you. I will get to you. I'm sorry. Actually, I'll read it right now because uh, I was about to go do this. All right, curls are doom. Here a donation saying, "Kind of left the convo hanging. Did the video present any potential solutions to help streamers deal with the pressure of mental health? Also, when you go through the tube, it needs to be uh, whew, and you know that. Yeah, it probably does when I go through the tube. Got ya." Thank you, my dude. Um, the video didn't get too deep into it. But I felt like it's making you aware of these things that's really important. That's like the first step. And that's most of the work is like if you know that you need to be aware of yourself and things, then that kind of like also makes you then know you've got to deal with it and figure out like the rest, right? So for me, it was... Um, It was like I was hearing it and thinking I've already been through this, but like it's it's just making you aware of it again is helpful because you can apply it to your current situation. But in, in turn, the solution is like being aware of it because then you realise, oh wait a minute, um, like this isn't the correct way to think about what I'm doing here. This isn't the correct way to interact with this experience. So, like, for the streamers who are suffering from, like, burnout and hardship with the amount of viewers that they have, the, the, what they've got to realise is that it happens with everything. Absolutely everything, other than maybe... Well, okay, I was going to make a joke, but it wouldn't have been very funny. So, like, if you go and take, like, a band like The Beatles, one of the biggest on the planet, right? And if you can quantify how many people are listening to them, they would have had a rise and then a fall. Okay? And that is in terms of current listenership. And it's the same for so many artists. They have peaks and they have lulls. And, you know, some artists come back. Some artists continuously get bigger and bigger. And it feels like, you know, that everything has its trajectory. So, like, a lot of people still listen to the Beatles because there's a lot of legacy there. There's a lot of you know, music being passed on from generation to generation. A lot of stuff gets left behind. It's the same with uh, movies and all sorts of things, really. 
you have these like rises and falls of people in interest that are interested in it. The one the one thing you can do though is if you think of things in terms of um, total total amount of listens, right? You can only ever go up if you think like that. Like if you think of it as views on YouTube, it's like the, the total view count only ever goes up. The viewership changes over that period. So for me, I went through years of like hustling on YouTube. I was very driven. I enjoyed it. I did struggle with some burnout here and there. Um, and then at some point, I kind of realized that like, you know, I, this can't go on forever. And I'm okay with that. I accept that this will pass. This will come to pass. And I think that's what streamers need to realize is that there will be ups and downs. The current, if you're on a down, it may not be a last. There might be another up after. But really, like, focus on the experience you're having and enjoying your time with your audience and not getting too hung up on if you're constantly growing or not because it, it, it you know, it doesn't matter how big you grow. You can technically always get bigger, right? It doesn't matter if you're the streamer who's got 10 million people watching each stream, which is just completely bonkers, right? If you're in that mindset, once you have 5 million watching, you're not doing as good. So it's it, like you can't think relativistically like that. You need to think in terms of experience and what you're enjoying doing with your time. And, uh, and that's what I've had to learn to do. I still, you know, I still, um, well, I don't really actually, I don't know. I'm kind of in a good spot with just doing what I want because I really enjoy all the things that I'm doing. I still, I guess, I still try and like in my mind, try and make those SEO videos where it's like, oh, if I did this and that, and I keep reminding myself, I'm not that interested in doing that anymore. And so when I think about those things, it just, just feels like a pressure that didn't need to be there. Like we've got 1.18 drop in and I'm umming and ahhing about making a video over on it. Like in the past, I maybe would have made like a secret facts of 1.18, but I just, if I'm not inspired, if it's not quite there for me, like I'm not going to push myself anymore because I'm far more interested in the experience I'm having. It's about enjoying my time. And I think it's really important to, to think like that if you're a streamer or you're a content creator and you're you're growing because growth can't go on forever. You know, you don't live forever. Going with the flow, says Becca. Yeah, kind of like that. Uh, Synthin, thank you for five months. I hope everything's going well, X. I'm really enjoying all your content. Thank you, my dude. I'm glad you enjoy it. That's great to hear. And, uh, you know, there's going to be another generation now that suffer with this, like the TikTok generation. The views, the way it works, it's so much faster and quicker that, I mean, your TikTok creators will probably start telling you they're suffering from burnout. And like, like I said, take them seriously. Like, it's easy to go, oh, look, X is playing games, right? He's having fun. How could he possibly... Uh, be upset or whatever but like it's the mentality of it because things are relative right like there are some people who who live in poverty yet yeah, they might be happier than you because your feelings are relative to your environment and the things around you so you know you can you can live in the world's biggest mansion but if it's empty you'll be lonely let's um let's open these these ones as well I feel like there's a bit more in this mod that we haven't seen, but now we've completed the uh, book for it. Burnout applies on every platform, says Bear. Yeah. I mean, it applies legacy wise as well, right? Like, you can look back at, uh, I don't know, big media figures from 70s and 80s or whatever who were part of big shows and, and realize they might have sort of been going through this stuff but like never had the language to express it and then if they were to try you know people might have been like what are you on about you're on the telly you know you should be over the moon what are you waffling all this uh you don't like it kind of you know that you, you can put the pieces together there right so storage i could do this but what's the point 
I thought we'd done this already. Quantum tank and black hole tank in unit. So let's see if they're mental or not. They sound mental. Nope, they're not. Black hole unit. I'm guessing that's like a void chest thing. There it is, black hole unit. Black hole tank was the other one. Hmm. Hey Dizzy, thank you ever so much for the Prime subscription. I appreciate it and hope you're uh, enjoying the stream. Being in a rut was a symptom of burnout, says High Trend. Yes, yeah, it could be, yeah. That's one of the reasons there was so much drug use in the entertainment industry, says Big Headface. Self-medicating. Yeah, I could totally understand that. The bigger they are, the harder they fall, says El Meow Man. Yes. That sort of implies pain, like bigger pain, right? But really, it's like you just got a higher distance to fall from. But mentally, like... like let's say, let's say, you know, I... I currently get, you know, under a thousand viewers a stream or whatever. I'm fine with it. If it went down to a hundred, I'm fine with it. I'm doing what's fun for me. But like, if I'd have gone from ten thousand to a thousand, that might have been like, whoa, oh my god, like, is, am I doing something wrong? Um, but at the same time, you can flip it and you can be like, well, ten thousand is like quite an achievement, right? So it's how you think about it that defines how big of a fall it is. Like if I were to think of it in terms of something different, like maybe making albums and selling records, like you you know, you have a triple platinum record and then a few years later you go gold. It could feel like um you know, like a failure, but the way I'd understand that would, would be more about like you've created a piece of work that was appreciated this much at this point in time. I feel like on uh, on Twitch and YouTube, the pace, the constant output, uh, doesn't allow you to have landmarks like that. You know, like someone like Quincy Jones or, or Michael Jackson with like the Thriller record. You know, it's such a historic record. It sold all these numbers, and like it'll all be always be focused on for that. Whereas with streamers, with YouTubers, like you tend to not have like one big thing to focus around. It tends to be this constant rollout. And so it's perceived differently. It's always about like the current state that you're in. And so I can look back on, you know, what I've done on YouTube and what I've enjoyed and I can feel good about it. Had some good times. But, you know, I can also look back at some stuff and be like, it's hustling too hard, you know? Yeah, you know, different different industries, different standards, different formats. They all they all create like different senses, and it's just interesting to compare them, right? Because like, okay, I know Michael Jackson's dead now, but like, you don't you don't go you don't sort of look at at least this is how I perceive things, but you don't tend to look at their discography and go, oh, they fell off. Like, it's more like, wow, look at all these great records they put out. And honestly, that's probably what it's more like. What's interesting here is that I'm thinking about it from the perspective of someone on the outside. And then I think, for all of you and for channels that I watch and follow, it's it's not like that. I do actually look at them and go, oh, all those videos that they've made that I've enjoyed, really great. How's that, chat? How's that? So, like, we're, we're talking about the perception from the streamer side or the content creator side of burnout, uh, chasing numbers and stuff. But now, let's think about it from your perspective, like you watching me. You probably shared some good times on these streams. So, like, does anyone watch a content creator and get burnout for them? Like, I don't think that exists. I don't think... Unless, like... Unless you really, unless you watch content for numbers, unless you're like, I'm going to watch Mr. Beast because he gets 50 million views a video. And then when Mr. Beast gets 10 million, you're like, all right, I'm checking out. Like, I imagine maybe there are some people that watch content in that way, right? But for the most part, I think you watch content for the value of it. And therefore, if you flip the perspective, right? 
So like maybe if you are Michael Jackson and Quincy Jones and you're like, dang, Thriller did good, but you know, this uh, this history album isn't pushing as many units. Fascinating. Fascinating. Hayley Bailey says, I watch for the creator regardless. That's cool. It, there definitely are like types of people that kind of, I don't know what you call it, clout or whatever, that tend to be interested in, uh, in um, you know, like numbers and stuff. I've seen it through comments and stuff before. I, you know, sometimes I've had like comments on my videos like, oh, you don't get as many views as XYZ. And I'm like, why are you thinking about it like that? Did you enjoy the video? <laughs> Sorry, I can't watch because you're not getting views anymore or whatever. I've seen a few wacky comments like that here and there over time. What mod is this? Rainbow Generator? Well, they're all generators. We'll figure it out soon enough. Oh no, wait, I'm doing it wrong. Cool, and the ones that we got are... Hytrin says, oh, that's an odd perspective. If, uh, if you're talking about the last one I just said, it, it's like... It might sound odd. It's it in my mind. It's more of a youthful thing, and more of a fitting in. When you're at that age where you want to fit in, you tend to care about stuff that is more. Uh, can't quite think of the right word. I keep thinking materialistic. That's not quite it. Hmm. Shinny says, "Well, you don't watch content for the views, but I followed some channels where their view account dropped dramatically, and they started to make content to get more views, and it's and it's hard to see. I don't know, like they change their content dramatically to get popular again. It'll happen. It'll happen. People will pivot and change, you know. But I mean, change is the constant. I changed the content I made over time. Sometimes it was geared towards SEO, and other times it was what I wanted to do, you know. So Furnace, Magmatic, and Ender are the ones that we've done." So we've done that one. Culinary, interesting. Oh, you want the furnace? Hang on, let's let's pick up this survival one quickly. It's about who's fashionable with some people. Yeah. They're like who's popular, who's in. But there's a word for it. And it, it just it tends to appeal to younger people when you're at that age where you're trying to form your identity and you tend to like want to fit in. Um, so it, it's not like a put down or anything. It's like a pretty common thing that people go through. And I see that play out here on YouTube sometimes, essentially. Oh, I see. Oh, right. Okay. Yeah. It's putting the wrong one in. So I've got to make that to make the next one. get those two. Peer pressure? Yeah, peer pressure's part of it. I tend to binge certain creators or topics for a while, then get bored and watch someone else. But if they've done well, I tend to come back, says Vapios. I do a little bit of that. You know, you tend to go through phases of watching particular channels. Sometimes it doesn't hold your attention forever. I have noticed, though, it's, it's channels that upload, let's say, two to four videos a month I find easier to stick with because you don't you don't get that binge and then it kind of keeps you with them for a bit longer I guess also putting out too much content can be an issue I find sometimes as well like there are some creators that I used to watch a fair bit of and then they just started like doing like too much <laughs> and I just kind of lost interest I guess Okay, what am I doing here? Pink, pink dye, pink wall. It wants vanilla pink. Maybe we'll come back to that one. We'll just chalk out some of the easier ones. Hang on, what am I clicking on here? Right, we want a TNT. Might need a few more of those, I guess. Right, where are we at now then with all of this? So pink, overclocked, never star.
I mean, I've got a Never Star. I guess I'll use it. And that one. Okay, then we got the Halitosis Generator with Frosty. Oh, what did it want down the bottom there? I mean, I could make a Rainbow Generator, but I've done that before. There used to be Meta on YouTube on daily uploads, and I think that's burnt out a lot of creators. Oh, there was. There were times where, like, you would... You know, it was around Season 3 of Hermitcraft that, like, I was putting out a video every day doing all sorts of different games and stuff, and I think that the, the quality, you could get away with a lot less. You have to make your videos far more interesting these days because you're competing with, uh, you know, lots of good content, basically. Ooh, that's interesting. That costs XP. And I've got XP. I think you have to do this in a... Oh, hang on. In a regular crafting thing. Grab a few more of those. One, two, three. Crafting for me. Crafting table. We actually don't have one in the area, can you believe it? One, two, three, four. Cool. What does it do? It boosts max level enchanting tables by 2.5. Oh, yeah, I remember someone commenting saying you can, uh, you can get more. Ooh. That's a way. That's kind of like a way to display items in the world. Interesting. I do want to discover more aesthetic-oriented things in this uh, pack too. Oh, I needed five. What's wrong with me? What's wrong with me? Hey, I left them over here. Yeah. So speaking of numbers and streamers and all that kind of stuff, right? Um, Mr. Beast. I've said it before, I think that guy's great. Um, there are people that hate on him and stuff for his success and whatnot, but he seems like a genuine guy trying to do do good with all the success and interest that he's got on him. You know, he does the flamphlamphly. Words. Oh, it's so difficult. I should have built that thing in a slime chunk, right? Dang, we'll have to build a slime farm. And I tell you what, building one with the bottom of the world technique, that could be uh, that could be pretty fun to do in this pack. There you go, slimy generator. Anyway, every he he seems to just come under some uh, criticism every now and then, and uh, I always go back to this uh, this podcast that I watched with H H Three Productions podcast. With Mr. Beast, and before I watched that, I definitely had an idea in my head of, oh, this guy's just, you know, gaming the system and using money to make loads of views and stuff. But then you hear his story from his perspective, and you realise, whoa, this this kid was like doing YouTube from like early on and grinding, trying to make it, and just had this vision to create, and now does really great things with it. And it's like. Yeah, just, uh, just all good, really. In one of his donating to random streamers, he donated to Rendog, says H. Brucal Man. Yeah, that's right. And Thulse as well, I think. My Suma Moss Farm tutorial got 1.2k views. The rest of my channel has an average 10 views. Haha, <laughs> sad, but maybe someday I'll start getting more, says Skyfire. Well, that's probably because you used my name or possibly because the Moss Farm hit. Uh, the SEO um, and like that's like hitting SEO to grow your channel completely fine using other people's names can get a bit you know this and that depends on how they feel about it you know I'm honestly I I don't care that much uh, the kind of thing I don't like people doing with my content is uh, clipping it and re-uploading it in like compilations you know, um, without really adding anything to it. Under fair use, compilations without actually adding and changing and editing things, I think is definitely in the iffy area. But like, if you do genuinely remix the content in some way, it's good. And if someone is using my content and turning it into something new, I tend to be fine with that. Um, if you use my name to 
promote your stuff it's really like a case by case thing but like you know some people do clickbaity videos like assume a face reveal and then you go in they waffle on for three minutes and then there's nothing in there like that's really not cool in my opinion um, but like if you're just recreating my moss farm I'm, I'm not gonna be bothered by it you know and this is like an individual thing it's really just up to um, a creator really to decide where their boundaries are and so one of the best things you can always do if you're not sure is to just ask oh we might get away with using two different dyes from our uh, petal setup to make the pink and then then we got the wall so if we can do that we can do it I didn't think of that I was thinking we'll get the wrong dyes here Let's see if that gives us the vanilla one. It does. Oh, I only wanted six. Okay, there we go. And now we need a block of wool. Which we have. Do we have string? Oh, we've got loads of string stored up. Cool. Right, and that should give us... Pink one? Except we don't have... That. Okay, and then we make the rainbow one last. You gotta make two. Oh, that's how they all get to. I was thinking, you don't use all of them, because, you know. Right? Like, oh, I see. I see. Just make two slabs. Hilarious. Okay, so we're missing magmatic and furnace. And then we do that. Nope, sorry, did I not just. Oh, I used a furnace to make the magmatic, didn't I? Right, and what is the uh, thing in the middle for as well? It's four. Hang on, let's go back. Do you know what? I'm thinking that'll make a real nice thumbnail, that will. <laughs> uh, oh, let me just use F2 for that. Yeah, there we go. that work? I'll edit that into a nice thumbnail, I will. Right, yeah, so we, we don't have to we don't have to like claim the two halves, we just make that one. Rainbow generator. Sweet. That's good. Where were we at with our discussion? I've completely forgotten. Channels that upload one minute clips straight rip from other videos. Yeah, that's that tends to not be cool, right? I mark all the Hermitcraft clip channels with don't recommend, says Crossdean. Yeah, that's actually something y'all can do to help. Like, it happens on Hermitcraft a lot. Sometimes people, like, tweet it at me. Have you seen this? Like, it's like, don't share it. That's sending all the wrong signals, you know? Like, use the reporting tools on YouTube to help those things be suppressed because uh, they're not cool. And I, 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 I remember this one channel just uh, was doing it in the most scummiest way possible. Like, completely lying on every video, lying about doing giveaways, just, oh, just so bad. I think J is what I want to go to here. So, yeah, they were using all, like, the Hermitcraft name and stuff and making videos like, Hermitcraft is ending, you know, in a week and here's why. And then you go in and it is just, like, complete lies and, oh, just terrible, terrible idea. Not a great way to make grow a channel but like it pulls in views because people keep clicking on it waypoints there they are we never died oh, I don't get to say that anymore do I let's claim these rewards the only channel I watch that's proxy a hermitcraft is the recap channel but that's topics already been covered yeah the recap on you know Great. Um, I, I've obviously done some collaborative stuff with them here and there. I've got no problem with what they do. They well and truly make something different with our content, right? So um, it's all good there. And the fact that, you know, the fact that they make quality content through it is like a big difference as well. If, you, if you're like in the, if you're in the grey area of, ooh. Uh, what do we call it? Fair use. In half help if you actually make good content with that as well. 
as opposed to uh... oh we already got that kind of stuff haven't we as opposed to like that sort of scummy content I was talking about a moment ago where you just use a brain a brand name to get clicks but I think we've seen most of the rewards that come out of these uh, loot chests they don't really feel very well geared to do anything in particular you just Unless there's some stuff in there I don't really know about. An Awakened Draconian block. A second one of those is pretty cool. Right, don't put my book and quill in there. That's not what I want to do. Right, I need to check something quickly. Okay. Okay, right. Right, let me explain. Let me explain. It's been a great stream today, hasn't it? Don't go anywhere just yet, right? Impulse is doing something that sounds really epic over on Twitch. A 24 hour live stream recreating the uh, all of the Lord of the Rings movies, all six of them, with the Minecraft Middle Earth people. I like, I am so stoked to see this for myself. So I'm going to be, I mean, I've got to go off, unfortunately, and sort my food out and stuff. But I'm going to be tuning back in later. Um, so for the raid today, I'm going to send you over to Impulse. So hit the follow button. Stick around and watch this. Check out what Impulse is up to. Um, thank you to everyone who subscribed, resubscribed, donated, and cheered. Your support is always appreciated. And uh, thank you for all the gifted subs and thank you to my patrons. So, yeah. Uh, right, I'm ending the stream, sending you over to Impulse. I haven't clicked the raid thing yet. I'm a Wally. Oh, God, please stick around. Don't tune out. Impulse is doing something really cool. Okay, here it goes. Right, okay, you'll be able to hit raid when I click end stream. So thanks, and I'll see you again tomorrow. Bye-bye.